All right, welcome back to another Laguna Quick Start tutorial uh, for our D words. In this tutorial, uh, this is sort of part two of our Yoga Buzz uh, series. And in this one, we are going to take a look at refining this image a little bit better so that when we bring it into our D works, we'll get a better result with our with our cutting and our etching. And as you recall from the first tutorial, we took a look at this, um, this image and noticed that it's kind of raggedy. There's a lot of uh, various things in here that I would probably fix. And you can see down here where the corners have some, some kind of raggedy edges and stuff. So that's no big deal. What we'll do is just sort of prepare this uh, to print and cut a little bit better. So first things, I want to look at this file and see that it's a CMYK um, profile right now, which is more for lithography and printing. So let's switch this up right away just by going to image and into the mode. And instead of CMYK, let's switch it to an RGB. And that'll give us a little bit more depth in the blacks and, and some other things. And let's do a number of different things here. Let's take this background image now. And I just want to make a duplicate layer. So I'll go ahead and create a duplicate layer. And I'll turn off that original layer. So now with this background copy selected over here, let's go up and do uh, a quick maneuver of applying an unsharp mask and you'll find that in your sharpen tools and we'll apply the unsharp mask and what that does is essentially it just um, cleans up or makes these edges just a little bit tighter um, you can see where in the the preview window over here if I zoom in there a little bit more you'll see where it um, it just basically cleans that up a little bit. So I'll just apply that once at, at the defaults it was set at, and I'll hit OK. So we already applied that mask. Now, the next thing we might want to do is maybe save this background copy, because that has the, the mask and everything. But let's duplicate that layer. And I'm going to hit Duplicate and turn off the one below. And now we have a clean copy that has the unsharp mask and we can do some more things to it. So the next thing I would probably do in this background copy layer here is come up here and go into the filter section and come down to the blurs and let's apply a Gaussian blur. And you'll notice that it, at four pixels, that's, that's quite a bit of blur. Um, but that, that's gonna be okay because we're going to work with this in a couple of different ways. I'm going to reduce that blur down just to about three pixels, you know, maybe about maybe at, a, a, at about a three pixel radius and I'll hit OK. And there you have it. So with this in mind, the next thing we might want to do is take a look at areas like this where we start to have bleed from our our edges, and this might cause problems inside of um, of our D works. So you can see where that there's quite a bit of black, and it's not really defined all that well. Okay, so let's take a look at where we left off in um, in our D works, and take a look at this image and how it it um, you know came out. This was a little bit before where it was kind of raggedy around these edges and and but we do have some distinction. So I'll just point that out at the moment. Now let's go back into Photoshop so we can uh, finish outputting this. But what we want to do here with this copy two in the background is I want to adjust the levels because that really if you come over to adjustments and go to your levels that really can play a big part in keeping a defined crisp cut for that edge. So in terms of these le levels, I might want to crush this level down a little in the black. I might want to bring this one over here on the right over a little more like that. And I could vary this one a little bit and still crush it a little bit from up there and maybe crush it a little bit from there. So you could see where this gives you some really good definition um, by messing around with your, your levels. So you can see where that took that black edge. As I move this 
level from the bottom up it gives us a really nice clean nice clean edge okay so I'll hit OK and I'm going to click on this image and I'm going to hit command minus command minus minus and that'll bring us back down into whatever it looks like at 100%. So that's great. Let's take this image now and do a file and let's save it as and let's save this one as Yoga Buzz original and then we're going to put unsharp mask. Okay. Unsharp mask final. And we'll open this up in our DWorks. All right. So I'm going to save this as a TIFF. And I don't want to put layers on it. And I'm saving this as a TIFF because TIFF generally has a little bit better, um, a little more information than a normal JPEG. Okay. So we're unsharp mask final and we're saving as a TIFF. We're turning the layers off because we don't need layers. And there you have it and everything's good to go there. I'll hit OK. Well, let's go back into our DWorks and let's do the same thing. I'll go ahead and just delete what we have going in here and we'll bring this down and we'll come up to our import option and we'll bring that Yoga Buzz Unsharp test and we want the Unsharp Mask Final. That's the one we just did. I'll go ahead and hit Open and there it is and we'll go through the normal resizing make sure your lock is locked down and let's turn this into a 10 inch selection we'll turn that to 10 and now we'll click on here and we'll go and grab our bitmap handle and once we're in here we'll take this bitmap and don't worry about the brightness or the contrast we want to set this output resolution like we did in the other one to 300 and we'll go ahead and apply this to the view first and we'll also apply it to the source because that will be our original source file and then let's hit our get outline button and there's our outline and we'll go ahead and apply this to our source which is this right here and we'll go ahead and hit OK. All right so now we have two layers over here we have our bitmap scan and then we have our cut layer or our, our vectors that we just traced. So I'll go ahead and come to the hide section. And on the bitmap, I will hide our bitmap. And here is our cut. So let's take a look at this cut inside of the simulator and see what it does. Now you'll notice that there's also this part, which is our, our uh, scan mode. And I know that we don't really want that to show up at the moment. I just want to see our cuts. And so what I'll do is hit escape on the keyboard and I will turn that output off for the scan. So now if we go back into our preview, we'll see those are just the vectors that we just created. So we'll go ahead and do the simulation and it looks like it'll, it'll do fine. Um, it's cutting those on a singular level. That looks great. And there you go. Okay, so I'm fairly confident that that will cut really well. And it'll also, um, it'll also um, be a little bit less raggedy than our last image. So anyway, I'm going to hit pause. And if you come over here, you can actually use your mouse scroll wheel if you're using a three button mouse. And you'll be able to come in here and scroll in and check out your detail level and everything and you can see where there are still a few of the fragments there but really we're dealing on a, a half a millimeter level okay so i don't think that will be much of a problem when we cut this on the on the machine so anyway i'll hit escape to get out of there so anyway that's probably how i would go about first adjusting an image that you're going to use in RD Works and um, yeah hopefully it'll cut really nicely so anyway all right so there you go hope you learned something and uh, thanks for watching